Hey guys, Goksum for the one here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, I'll be taking on the Celadon City Gym and the Gym Leader Erica. Now, this gym in Celadon City is gonna be to the far left corner, but to get into it, you have to go to the far right corner and cut down this tree. It's gonna be a grass type gym, so watch out for that. Bring, bring lots of flying types and make sure, or you don't need to bring a lot, just bring one at least, and make sure to stock up on lemonades or even potions. But when you come to the gym right here, there'll be an old man, he'll be like, hee hee, this gym is great, it's full of women, it's like, whoa man. <laughs> Perfect out right there. But, before I go into the gym, I'd like to evolve one of my Pokemon, which is my SSJ Coco. I forgot to do that last episode, and I said I was going to do it last episode, but I never did. So, I'll let my Coco here evolve, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Finally got that Jolteon though, super happy about that, got our fifth Pokemon, and now it's time to take on the Celadon City Gym. So, when you come into the gym, you're gonna have a few trainers right off the bat, there's gonna be five you can see, and the first trainer is gonna be K. Now, she's gonna have a level 23 Bellsprout and a level 23 Weeping Bell. This shouldn't be too hard, and I know, I have Roshio in the front, probably not the smartest thing in the world considering he is a water type and I'm not using him because he's a, gr a flying type, I'm using him because he has Dragon Rage and also he's kind of low level uh, compared to the rest of my team at least. Uh, Jolteon is definitely the lowest level because I just got him, but yeah, so I want to level up my Roshi, he's only level 26, the rest of them are in the 30s. So I thought it would be time to maybe level them up in this gym, and we're able to take out these grass types because, um, yes they are super effective against me, but I also have Dragon Rage, which is a pretty strong move at this point in the game, it does 50 or, I think it's 50 damage per attack, maybe it's 40, but it should two-shot every single Pokemon we come up against, just like it's showing right here, Dragon Rage taking out this Weeping Bell, a second evolution Pokemon in two shots. So we're going to go up to level 27, nice, Roshi's almost there to level 30. Once he's at level 30, I'm just going to stop training him and maybe train up my Coco or even just use um, my Pharaoh or my Robin for the rest of the gym. Considering he is a flying type, he'll be able, he, I shouldn't have that much troubles. If Roshi does die though, I'm not too worried because again, I have uh, Robin in the back. So I'm just going to go for a peck right here, it should one shot the Bellsprow, we are like, uh, I think that's... I can't do the math right now, but we're a lot of levels higher, so that is good for us. Bridget's gonna go down. My makeup. Oh, you're not worried about your injured Pokemon. You're worried about your makeup. Seems seems legit. But I am just so we don't have to deal with the noise. Actually, I might not even have. Okay, I lied, but guys, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up my Pokemon. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I am back, and the reason I healed up my Pokemon is because I didn't want to deal with the poison noise. I know how annoying it is to listen to, and I didn't want to put you guys to the pain. So we're going to continue on here anyways and fight this next trainer, Tamiya. And she's going to have a level 24 Bellsprout and another one. Another 24 Bellsprout. So, Roshi is healed up now. He should be able to take out these Bellsprouts easily with two Dragon Rages. Maybe even three, this is a little bit higher of a bell. No, it's just gonna go down easily. I was like, it's like two levels, three levels higher than the other bell sprouts, so maybe it won't okay in three shots, but I was wrong. He doesn't get that much HP after going up three levels bell sprout, so we don't have to worry about that. Now she's gonna send out her other bell sprout right here. Again, it's gonna be 24. Shouldn't have too much troubles. Maybe. Okay, I was about to say. Maybe this Bellsprout just has better HP and it'll live in three shots. And we're gonna get Sunsport! Ah, the status, the status effects in this gym are just so annoying sometimes. But he's gonna keep going for Acid right here. It's a good thing we can't go to sleep anymore or get poisoned, which I don't really mind paralyzing. Our speed's just cut in half, which isn't too bad. I'm more so just annoyed by when you can attack when you're asleep or when you have to deal with that poison noise. So we're going to continue on here, battle the next trainer, and this is actually an interesting trainer right here. Her name is going to be T. 
Tina, and she's gonna have a level 24 Bulbasaur and a level 24 Ivysaur. The one thing that doesn't make sense with this trainer is that her Ivysaur is level 24. Why? Why? Or not Ivysaur, I mean Bulbasaur. Oh my god. I, <laughs> I'm messing up all my Pokemon names today, but it just makes no sense. Why wouldn't you evolve your Ivysaur into, or your Bulbasaur into Ivysaur? Like, how, how stupid are you? Like, you could have had two Ivysaurs instead of one Bulbasaur and an Ivysaur, but that's Pokemon for you. They're gonna do that just to make it a little easier on you so you don't have to deal with two super strong second evolution Pokemon. Because Bulbasaur is strong, but Ivysaur is pretty strong for um, its second evolution. And then Venusaur is just a whole other story. Venusaur is just a beast in general. Super good tank, super good at attacking as well. Just a good Pokemon all around if you want to have a good grass type. Now, we might go down... No, we're going to live with 14 HP and we're going to take down this Ivysaur. So, I think it's time to switch out Roshi now. Roshi's going to go up to level 28... But since he's at red health and also paralyzed, I don't think he could do any more things to these trainers. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out right here into Robin. I'm gonna have my powerful flying type out. And again, I don't think I mentioned, or not again, I don't think I mentioned this before at all. Make sure you have cut because you will have to cut down trees. Um, you probably noticed already, but hopefully you have a cut mon on your team. I always keep a, sa a slave in my party whenever I walk around in the routes and in general, until I get my six Pokemon, of course, but that's what I like to do. I just like to keep a slave on me at all times. Now, Bellsprout. Shouldn't have too much trouble with this trainer right here. Her name is Mary, and she's going to have five Pokemon, actually, which we don't see too much of. But she has some pretty strong Pokeball on her team. But again, we do have Robin, so we won't have that much troubles with it. She's gonna send out her Oddish, which is level 22 now. Um, she also has a Weeping Bell and then a Gloom and an Ivysaur. So Ivysaur is really the biggest threat on her team. Gloom's still pretty good. Um, Weeping Bell, not too worried about, just because it's it's a little bit stronger of a Velspro. It's not that much better than Velspro, in my opinion. Uh, it's not the greatest Pokemon in the world. Victory Bell's pretty good, but I, I like, I'm a little biased when it comes to grass types in Gen 1. I just stick to Venusaur all the time when it comes to Final Evolution and which one ones are better for which jobs. So, I'm just going to continue on with some aerial aces right here. This is pretty easy, to, actually. We're a little over level for this gym, but these are the trainers. The gym leader will definitely be a little bit harder than this. I don't think I'll use Robin for the gym leader just because I don't really want to sweep through it. It'll be a little bit boring, so... Ivysaur is gonna go down though, that's her final Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. We took down the Gloom already, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. Cool trainer Mary is gonna go down, she's like, oh, beaten! <laughs> nice. Nice grammar there. But there's two more trainers to actually go through in this gym before we fight the gym leader. So, the next trainer right here is gonna be a Lass, and she's gonna have two Pokemon on her team. A Oddish, which is level 23, and an a Gloom which is level 23. So again, I'm just going to sweep through here with Aerial Ace. Um, if you don't have a Robin, or not a Robin, a Pharaoh, if you don't have a Pharaoh, you could still sweep through this gym with Pidgeot. Pidgeot's still a super good Pokemon to have. I think you guys will only have like a Pidgeotto uh, in this part of the game. I don't think anyone would have a Pidgeot because Pidgeot, I'm not even level 26 yet, and Pidgeot, um, Pidgeotto evolves into Pidgeot at level 26. So, anyways, this Gloom is going to go down. And we defeated the lass. What is she going to say? Oh, you. These lasses have some pretty interesting things to say after we defeat them, that's for sure. But, we're going to fight this next trainer right here. She has actually, the, she's the only one who has this Pokemon on her team. And it's going to be an Execute. We have a, actually haven't seen one of these yet, I don't think. Execute's a pretty good Pokemon, it evolves into Executor, which is a super good bulky Pokemon if you want to run it. Uh, it's Grass and Psychic, so if you want a good Psychic type and a good Grass type on your Grass type on your team, then yeah, it's definitely a Pokemon you would like to, or you should go for. So anyways, I'm gonna, actually, I think I'm gonna go heal up my Pokemon so we could use Roshi in this gym battle. So I will see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I am back, and it's finally time to take on the gym leader, Erica. Now, before we go into this gym leader, make, make sure to stock up on lemonades, antidotes, 
Awakenings and also Paralyze Heals because you will be gaining a lot of status effects on you and you might have to heal in these battles. Now, I am just gonna go in here with my Robin. I don't remember if I actually said if I was gonna go in with my Gyarados first. Sorry, I blanked out there guys. I almost forgot what Pokemon it was. But I'm just gonna go right here with Robin, take out this victory bell. I thought Robin would just do a better job than Gyarados, and Gyarados would just have too much trouble with these Pokemon. Now Erica's gonna have a level 29 victory bell, which we just took down, a level 24 Tangela, and then a level 29 Vile Plume. Now you can kinda see why I didn't want to bring out my Gyarados right here, because Gyarados wasn't gonna do anything to these Pokemon. I know I do have um, Dragon Rage on him, but he was either gonna get paralyzed, poisoned, or just go to sleep. So he was, he was just gonna die from Giga Drain and stuff. Now Robin's just gonna sweep through this gem pretty easily, having no troubles with that whatsoever. And we go up to level 36, which is nice. And we also defeat the gym leader, Erica. Not too hard. And when you beat her, she'll give you the rainbow badge in $2,900. And she'll also give you the TM for Giga Drain, which is a super, super good grass type move, which I actually recommend teaching to any grass types that you have. It will inflict damage to your opponent and then heal you based on how much uh, damage you did to them. So, before I end off the episode here, I'd like to actually teach some of my Pokemon some moves. And the first one is going to be Giga Drain. I'm going to put this on my, not my Bell Sprout, as my TM Slave, or my HM Slave, but I am going to teach it to my light bulb right here and I'm actually gonna get rid of razor leaf because razor leaf isn't really the best move in the world for a light bulb or light bulb right here so I'm also gonna teach my chaotic right here brick break which is actually a super good fighting type move that I recommend teaching to any one of your Pokemon if they can learn it even if it's not stabbed because it's just super strong it breaks um, screens as well which is nice I'm gonna get rid of poison sting because it's not a good move at all Poison Sting is a super, super bad move. I don't recommend actually keep it on your Sand Slash if you have one. And then the final move is going to be Shockwave, which I'm going to teach my SSJ Coco, my Jolteon. Jolteon gaining his, I think, yeah, it's a his, or a him. He has a first electric move right here, so that is nice. And after Jolteon right here learns this, which he just did, I'm going to end off the episode, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did, go ahead and tell me what you liked in the comment section down below, and also tell me something you didn't like, I really appreciate that, then I can improve these episodes from your criticism, and you guys can be more entertained, so anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.